Hey everyone, Matt Merigley here to talk to you about uh, Google Classroom and the stream on Google Classroom. Uh, lots of parent questions are coming in on how parents can find uh, things on the stream and how to direct people to um, your um, classroom classwork page. So I'm in my uh, classrooms. I have a, a fake one here that we're going to take a look at. So this is my stream. You can see it looks almost like the classwork page. And uh, when I show this to people, people wonder how I did that. So when you're in a particular class, go up to the gear wheel. And if you scroll down, you have some um, things that you can do with classwork on the stream. You have some choices here. So the default for most of you is you probably have condensed notifications. So how do those look? Those look like these boxes that we're all used to. Unless we're actually typing an announcement or asking uh, a question, they just look like these boxes and they get all jumbled. They're, they, they aren't as organized as when you go to the classwork page and you might organize by unit or week. So that is something that um, we can fix a little bit. So if we go into the gear wheel and we make these you know, show attachments and details, that's one way we can do it. You will see that all of those things kind of show up in the correct order. So if you post a brand new assignment, people will go here. Now I've had teachers say that they like this, and then I've had some that say they don't like it because it takes the kids away from going to the classwork page. Well, if you're one of those people that wants the kids to go to the classwork page and not here, if you click on this, you can, if you'd like, hide the notifications altogether. So now the only notifications that will appear on the stream are just announcements or questions. Um, everything else will be only on the classwork page. So that's another way that you could do it. Um, I'm also going to show you how to create a Google Classroom header that points to the classwork page that gives the kids instructions to the classwork page so that they know to click there and not really look at anything on the stream except for questions or announcements. So that is the um, Google Classroom stream modifications that you can make. Um, please use the one that will be easiest for your parents and your students.